welcome back to our channel. Today I am reviewing the lightest tandem stand-on stroller in the world. Yes, I am reviewing it for you. So stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back guys. If you are new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button down there. I am a mommy of five children and I love testing out baby products for you. We give you some honest reviews of the best things to buy on the market for your children. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Caboose Ultralight Graphite Tandem Stroller. I'm just going to tell you some quick facts about the stroller. This Caboose Ultralight features sealed bearing wheels and four wheel suspension, a huge canopy, parent organizer, three position front seat and a child tray. Stand on platform, a rear bench seat, a universal car seat adapter, a large storage basket, a one step linked parking brakes, compact fold, a rain cover and a caboose rear seat. This is the caboose rear seat which we will unbox later on in the video. Okay, let's see what's inside this box. This is the black color. Okay, here we have a manual, the car seat adapter, and then the stroller which comes with the wheels. Here we go. And some more wheels as the tray and the parent organizer we're going to commence with the assembly of the stroller normally in all my unboxing and reviews I normally assemble the stroller then we go on to do a bit of a demonstration and review so if you want to skip straight to the demo and review just look down in the description box and that will state the exact time firstly let's turn your stroller upside down grab your axle bar and insert this underneath the standing panel. This is the standing panel. These two single wheels are what you will need. And inside with your manual is a little bag of goodies. These are needed in order to attach these wheels. Now that we have the wheels on, we can flip the stroller and assemble the sunshade. The stroller should be looking like this. To insert the sunshade, ensure the juvie tag is at the rear. Slip these little plastic parts into these holes here. Your tray comes in the front here on these white plastic pieces. And we have this cute little parent organizer which slips onto the handlebar here. Just stretch it over. So this is the stroller without the rear seat fitted. We are looking at a nice sunshade here. It's not as large as some other strollers we featured. Your child can sit here, obviously an older child, in the rear on this little bench back here. And if they need sun protection, then in the parent organizer, you can pull out this little piece of fabric and you can attach it here via zip. That offers further sun protectant for the child in the back. The rear of the stroller features a three point harness, which clips together and apart quite easily. On the back, we have a nice standing board so the child can stand or sit. This juvie has three reclining positions, upright, second and third. It also features a five point harness, the same clip system, very easy and simple to use. And here in front the child has a nice snack play area as well which features 
two cup holders, very cute. And down here we have a footrest. The wheels are swivel and move very nicely and easily. And of course it's a simple push down, push up to lock. Okay, to access your nice uh, storage basket, which also looks quite deep, you can either move the child seat backwards and access it this way, or have a smaller access by pushing the seat forward and you can reach on in like that. These are the brakes in the back, also pretty just, you know, simple push down for the rear brakes. They work tandemly as well. A particular feature that I like about the stroller is that it comes included with this parent organizer, which is um, suitable for bottles, water bottles, your cell phone, perhaps a valuable over here as well. Okay, I'm gonna attach the caboose rear seat and see how that works. This rear seat is not included. It is an extra purchase if you would like this for your stroller. To insert the seat, we need to start off by removing this rear seat pad over here. There is a Velcro strap underneath, which you need to remove, and then you can basically pull off this pad. Remember to keep this crutch strap through here. I have assembled the rear seat. Here we go. The rear seat has a five-point harness. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you, it was quite complicated to install this and I'm not 100% sure if I've done it perfectly accurate. Um, you will need to refer to the instruction manual for this. I'm going to take this out and try it out on the roads and I must say I'm quite excited to try the stroller. It moves nicely, freely. It has the same dimension width as a single stroller but it is just a bit longer. So I'm quite keen to try it out and um, I'm wanting to also try it without the rear seat because I really feel like JP is going to love his independence in being able to stand on the back of the stroller, get off the little bench, jump out, jump back on. Um, my only concern is that once he's experienced that freedom, he may never want to go and be strapped back into a normal stroller again. But I think it's going to be really fun. watching this video guys if you love juvie products we do have another unboxing that we filmed before this it is the double umbrella stroller be sure to check that out as well see you soon guys with more strollers bye